So you want to start doing some electrical work, huh? Okay, so today I want to be showing you my top three tools for automotive, electrical, troubleshooting, any kind of automotive electrical work that you want to start getting into. Maybe you're uh, at the dealership and you're trying to move up. Maybe you just got hired at a place and you want to start investing in some electrical tools. Whatever the case may be, I got my top three tools that I highly recommend for anybody getting into electrical work on cars. This is by far three must have tools for any technician that's getting into electrical work. So starting with the basics. Okay, so the first thing you gotta get yourself is a basic test light. All right, now all the test light is, is a light bulb. This one is actually, this is a test light from, um, can't see it, but it's for Mac tools. So a test light like this can run you anywhere from 10 bucks to 30 bucks if you wanna invest in a good one. All it is, it's a light bulb. You can hook this up to power, so you can check ground with this, or hook this up to ground, so you can check power with the other side. This is a basic tool for checking fuses, for checking power to, um, to a component, for checking ground to a component. A lot of the mistakes I see people doing on a car is they go check for power, but they forget to check the grounds. In order for anything in the car to work, it needs a power and a ground. Just like this test light, power on one side, ground on the other, or ground on one side, power on the other, and that's how that light is gonna work. This is as basic as it gets when working on cars. Tool number two. The second tool that I recommend to you guys, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I just got this multimeter. Multimeter, DVOM, DMM, whatever you wanna call it, this right here is by far the best tool you can own for electrical diagnosis okay this is gonna allow you to check voltage amperage resistance continuity if you can master this tool right here you won't need any other tools this is it right here this multimeter can do it all but the reason the reason they come up with a whole bunch of other tools is because people don't want to learn this the reason tools are invented and created it is so that you as a technician can have it easier. You want to be able to do um, faster diagnostics, more accurate diagnostics, but people don't want to put in the time and study this. Tool number three is the mighty, mighty, mighty power probe. This can be a very, very good tool or it can be a very, very bad tool depending on how you're gonna use it and where you're gonna use it. So basically what a power probe is, is a test light, it's a jumper wire and a voltmeter. So this right here, this is the power probe three. This is the third generation of the power probe and now they have a power probe hook, I believe. Like I'm saying, the reason they come up with these tools is because people don't wanna learn how to use this. This is a good tool if you wanna learn how to, every tool has its place is what I'm trying to say. So if you wanna test like a window motor, you would hook this up to ground and to power. The most common place is a battery. Once you have this at, at the battery, then you pretty much have a jumper wire here and you pretty much have a jumper wire here, okay? So this can be hooked up to ground and then with this button right here, you can send power or you can send ground. To whatever you're trying to activate if you don't know how the circuit works and you accidentally send power where you're not supposed to or you send ground where you're not supposed to you're gonna fuck something up so this can be a very good tool but you have to understand circuit design before you start jumping to this you can also use this as a jumper wire if you set your multimeter on an amp scale and you put this lead over here on the a-hole not the v-hole the a-hole then you essentially have a jumper wire here not only that you have a jumper wire and you're gonna be able to see how much amperage the load is drawing so if you want to test the light bulb because you think oh the light bulb is drawing too much amperage and it's burning my connectors this could have been a good tool for me to use in my Lancer video if you go back a couple videos this could have been good I can jump it with this and it'll show me how much amperage that light bulb is pulling 
and then I can see, oh, it's drawing too much amperage, or it's not drawing enough, or you know what, the light bulb is not my problem. Keep looking somewhere else. Okay, now I know there's more tools out there. There's a lot more tools out there that are designed to do what these do and a lot more. But if you can get a hold of a test light and a multimeter, you can essentially test the whole car with this. Now I know it's probably a little bit more difficult nowadays because a lot of cars, a lot of these circuits on a car are computer controlled, which means that a lot of the, um, of the components on the car are either gonna be pulsed with modulated or they're gonna be duty cycled. Now if they're duty cycled, this right here won't do it for you. You can get a multimeter that does duty cycle and pulse width modulation, which is gonna be more expensive. This right here, maybe, this one ran me maybe 150 bucks, maybe less. As far as electrical goes and as far as electrical tools, the multimeter, the test light, everybody's favorite, the power probe, because you can fucking make windows go up, door locks, lights, horns, wipers, whatever you wanna activate, you can do it at the touch of a button. But if you know how to use a multimeter, you can do it too. You can even do it with a test light, but you gotta be very careful, that's the thing. The power probe does have a circuit breaker built in, but um, to each his own. I mean, everybody has different ways of checking cars, everybody has different tools that they wanna use, but with the top three tools that I just showed you, that's enough to get you started as an automotive electrical technician. Eventually, you can build up your, your tools and um, buy yourself a scope, buy yourself a faster multimeter. I can go to my car right now and I can check pretty much anything. I can check all the fuses with this. I can check my battery, my charging system with this. I can activate windows. I can activate lights, wipers. I can activate pretty much anything with this, but I gotta be very careful and I gotta be wise about this. If you get this multimeter right here, if you get this power probe right here, power probe three, which is a very good tool, and if you get yourself a test light, you're looking at under 300 bucks. So if you got some money you wanna invest and you don't know what to get, the multimeter, the test light, and the power probe. These three tools will get you through the whole car. You're gonna be able to check every circuit on the car. As long as you know what you're doing, you're also gonna need to learn wiring diagrams. But this right here is all you need. Don't forget to check out my other videos right here. Subscribe if you haven't, and give this video a thumbs up.